So we're just over halfway through the session. And right now we're facing some real challenges. First of all, there is a move afoot to roll back environmental regulations. They've identified a bill as far as those who wish to do this. It's Senate Bill 6406. And what they are hoping to do is delay implementing stormwater regulations that will protect Puget Sound and the environmental health of our state. So what is being said down here is that environmental regulations are delaying growth. Our economy is not growing because Wall Street banks rolled into our state and across this nation with subprime loans that put our families in foreclosure and jeopardized their future. And additionally, we've had two wars for the past 10 years that were not funded and have impacted our nation's foundation and its economy. So when I hear we need to roll back environmental regulations, what I say is now is not the time. We need to invest in infrastructure for our local governments, create jobs through those, um, that infrastructure, and move forward and protect Puget Sound and the quality of our life. The other thing that's going on in the second half of the 12, 2012 session is we're still continuing on with the Toxic Free Kids Act. It's something I'm very proud of. And what we're attempting to do is ban flame retardants that are cancer-causing agents that are in nursing pillows, they're in our cribs, they're in our strollers for our children. We have a bill moving forward. It's not as robust as I'd like, and I'm hoping we can improve upon it. The chemical industry is down here with Citizens for Fire Safety, funded by the chemical industry. And they're funded well, seven million to six million a year, to fight legislation like this that protects babies and families. I'm gonna continue fighting them, and I hope at the end of our 2012 session, we once again will be a state that takes a lead in protecting our most vulnerable little ones.